Oh, it's a big hole there. Missed that. That's actually an interesting one, that. Now, in that instance, you've got to use your suspension. Uh, interesting little comment from Cloudmaker, who rides a bike in the UK. He's an exceptional rider and driver and motorist. He is a truck driver. Now, I've just gone through a pothole there, which I hadn't seen. And it reminded me of something he said a few weeks ago about what to do when you see an object in the road and you're going to hit it. And it got me thinking because, of course, I can't remember what the context he was in, but he was talking about how to prepare to hit something if it's in the road and you're going to hit it. And it crossed my mind, and of course, if you're, on, if you're on the brakes, you're already compressing your suspension. Let's say, for example, it's a brick. Now, you're going to hit it because your target fixated. You've seen the bloody thing. I once did that on Port Wakefield, Port Wakefield. Now, there's a fraudulent slip. It was Wakefield Road in Bradford. I was only about 17. I was on a GP100 and I was going down the dual carriageway and I saw a red building brick. I was in the middle lane and in my mind's eye, when I remember it, it was there forever. It might, I might have only seen it for half a second. I was doing something else, I wasn't concentrating and I hit this fecking brick and it brought me off. And I was doing about, probably about 50 mile an hour. And the funny thing is, when you're doing 50, in a 40 zone, I might add, and you're skidding along and you're bouncing along. Now, I had, the, I had some good kit on. I, wasn't, I was on a GP100, I don't know. I can't remember what I was wearing. A couple of pairs of jeans. It had been winter, so I probably had two pairs of jeans on because I was cold. So my skin was protected to some extent and a leather jacket, gloves and a shitty helmet. But I'm rolling down the road and bouncing up and down. I'm like rolling, rolling. The thing is, what not to do is not to try to get up and run. Or try to get up at 20 mile an hour because you think you you finished rolling. I hadn't. And I'm trying to get up and I'm still <laughs> I'm still tumbling. Oh. But anyway, I hit this bloody brick. I must have been target fixated and all what. I remember seeing it. Uh, I was going downhill as well. Um, and what the hell it was doing in the middle of this dual carriage, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's irrelevant. But the fact is, I hit this brick. Now, what Cloudmaker, check his channel out, uh, it was telling me, or he mentioned on one of my uploads, about this scenario where he'd been taught years ago about what to do, what happens if you're driving down the road, sorry, riding down the road and you've got a truck in front or a vehicle that drops a load of product in front of you. Could be bits of wood that are three or four inch deep. Do you hit the brakes? Or, because if you hit the brakes, you're compressing your forks. But it crossed my mind, you should accelerate because what you're going to do then, you're giving yourself chance or at least not do anything and just brace yourself, keep yourself straight and try to just ride over them. Don't brake. Because what happens is you do that and you're losing as your forks compress probably half your suspension travel which you're gonna need if you hit something and the chances are your suspension's very good. It might just get you over it. It's just a little tip. Compliments of Cloudmaker. And uh, thanks for that mate. Whether you've got the balls just to do that and, and just keep your speed the same and not compress your front forks, your, your reaction is quite possibly to hit the brakes. And if you do hit the brakes, the chances are you're going to come off if you hit something that's, you know, like a bit of 2b3 or even a bag of sand. Chances of getting over it are pretty minimal, but you never know. If you brace yourself and it's half split as it hits the ground, you might just pile through it.